Hi, Carolyn here, trichologist at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. I'm going to share with you some of the procedures that we use for our um, in-clinic treatments and also for our interstate and international uh, clients. I have had a request for an international client um, for me to share some instructions, so I thought I may as well share it um, with all of you and hope you get something out of it. Now, before I begin any treatment, um, I need to pH test. Now, pH testing is about testing for health, and also if we're going to use any nutritional supplement, our pH needs to be alkaline before we begin. So it's a good base to start with to know um, what's happening with our health and why potentially we have a hair loss problem. So uh, we're going to send a pH test kit um, to our client, which includes a booklet, which is information about why pH is so important. I use Easy pH, which is an Australian company, um, they explain the acid alkali habits, uh, food combining. We have a whole page of acid alkali foods. Keeping in mind you cannot alkalize by food alone, um, but if you are eating more foods on the acid side, then definitely you will lower your pH. And then at the back of the book, we have the most important page, which is the results. So what we want to record is the date that we take the test, the time, and it's always the first urine sample, first thing in the morning that we need to have. Um, then here we've got urine or saliva. I don't need saliva for this particular testing that we do. The pH, which is the number, I'll explain in a minute, and any notes. Okay, so I suggest that you photocopy that, and that way you've always got a fresh um, place to keep your records. Now with the booklet, you get a test kit, which is litmus paper. Now I suggest that you take off about a five centimetre piece. And what you want to do is just run that under the stream of urine first thing in the morning. Okay, you don't need to hold it there, you don't need to collect it in a cup or anything like that. Completely, completely clean. And then you just pop it on a piece of tissue paper. And what you want to do is compare what colour the paper is compared to our scale here. So the paper starts out yellow. If it stays yellow, that means the pH is a number we call 5.5, which is acid. And then it goes up the scale to a point where we get to a lime green, and then we're on the second line that it actually starts to turn green, which is 6.8, 7.0, 7.2. Now the body, to be in an alkaline state, it requires it to be 6.8 to 7.2. Now I ask my clients to do that at least four days out of seven, so this is about balance. Now you may also take the colour out of the paper, which takes it off the scale, and is more acid. Now that is absolutely okay. The key is there's no good or bad, no right or wrong. We just need to know where you are so we know what we can do. So I hope that helps. And if you're interested in pH, as I said, go to Easy pH uh, and uh, we can post them out to you or you can buy them online. All right, we're gonna come back and uh, show you how to alkalize once you know what your pH is.